right, 2023 Sea Otter Classic. We're here with uh, Joaquin at the MD booth. We're going to chat about some wheels and some of the bikes they got on display here. So, uh, Joaquin, if you don't mind, maybe we would start out with some wheels. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so here we have uh, our road line. Okay. Everything from our top of the line SES line. So going from the 2.3 climbing wheel down to the more aerodynamic, more efficient, and then the fully disc. Yep. Uh, this so is this, our, is, this, this is time trial specific. And yeah. then SES, is that Simon something? Uh, smart, smart efficient. Uh, oh, nothing to do with Simon. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll scratch that. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yep. Yeah, so TT specific disc. Um, all, all these are discs. You guys are kind of know more rim stuff, huh? Correct. So all okay. of these are uh, disc brake. Tubeless uh, compatible. Tubeless, hookless. Hookless. Okay, does that mean you can run clinchers on some of them or you don't it's advise? It's tire dependent. I know the Victoria Course says was a no-no, right? Yeah, so okay. it's, it's strictly depending on the tire, the tire manufacturer, and then what they're future-proofing and bringing out their tires to move over. But a lot of other wheel manufacturers are coming out with hookless rims as well. So God, and what's the reasoning behind that? So th this video is brought to you by Dib Sports. Rider owned, rider operated, Southern California. If you're in the market for some new apparel, please consider checking us out at dibsports.com. Feel free to leave a comment, hit the like button, consider subscribing. Thank you. The difference is the, essentially the tolerance and how we're able to manufacture it. The disc one right now is still hooked. Okay. This is one of our older uh, uh, generations. Yep. But you can see on, uh, let's say, our, our rest of our road line, it's a hookless system. So what this does is it increases our uh, inflation pressure. So, I mean, not the pressure, but just our overall... Uh, yeah, it makes it kind of fit nicer to the Exactly. Rim. And it is actually less prone to pinch flats. Got That's it. kind of Got one it. of our bigger things. This was first optimized within our mountain bike line. Okay. Um, yeah, pinch, pinch flat, flats yeah, and roll, PSI. roll out. And that was one of the main issues that a lot of riders were having. Uh, and we kind of incorporated that into our wheel. Line. I, I heard, and correct me if wrong, that it was, um, I don't want to say easier, but maybe like more affordable or less expensive to do hookless versus hook rims. Is that true or is there any merit to that? Uh, it depends on the mold and the technology and how we're incorporating it. There's obviously, let's say, one less section that we have to design around. Got it. Um, or hand finish, But whatever. it's a whole other process that we need to make sure is optimized for the integration of the rim, the integration of the tire. Got it. Um, we don't want to make something that you're going to run yeah. into issues later on. My, my first set of MBs were uh, three fours rim brake. Um, I think it was 2015. Uh, didn't even have the textured braking surface. Yeah. Um, but I gotta tell you, man, those were the best wheels at that time, at least. I'm not saying that they're bad now, because yeah. you know a lot of brands have upped their game. Yeah. Um, but the three four, at least for me, and I've not been super up to date on the Envy product line, but it still seems relevant when I'm out there. I'll see some like four five AR, uh, whatnot. But the three four seems to still be pretty solid is that like yeah. still a solid seller or? yeah i mean this this generation of wheels is our, our 2022 line so these were just released last year uh -huh. so they did a full update on the full the whole line um at least for me i'm the uh, manager of the custom road program so the bike that we manufacture from one piece of carbon to a full bike mm -hmm. fully assembled in utah i oversee that Yep. Um, and the majority of our customers are going with four fives and three fours. Got it. So Got it. if we're looking for an overall wheel, still aero, but lightweight and something that wanna spins up quickly, yeah. that's your go-to wheel. Yeah. If you know you're gonna be a, a speed demon and you want the aerodynamic yeah. benefits and, and yeah. kind of blowing out the competition, four fives are the way to At go. At one point in time, I had two twos, three fours, and I think seven eights. Yeah. And I ran those seven eights on a windy day. Whew. I mean, you're flying, yeah. but you're feeling it. You get, yeah, you get you pushed around get a bit. Pushed around. Uh -huh. And that's kind of one of the main things is always trying to optimize and balance all of yeah. those characteristics, yeah. which is why these two, four fives and three fours are, are Yeah, the it's pretty safe. It's yeah. a good balance. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And then over to the right, this is, is a foundation. Is that what yep. these are called? Yeah. So these are just a little more uh, affordable or yep. attainable. Yeah, lower, a lower price point, I believe for, um, Four fives and sixty fives. They're uh, seventeen fifty. Okay. Um, but no compromise on quality. Still handmade. Yep. By yeah. MV these in rims are all made in MV. So where does the cost Austin. savings come from in regards to this versus the um, the SES line? Uh, the laminate, so the type of material that we're utilizing, as well as like the hub and the spokes. Um, all of those are a 
more affordable tier. Got it, got it. Okay, good to know. And then these are four 45 uh, millimeters front and rear. There's no front and offset. rear, correct. Okay. And the same thing with these. These are 65 front and rear. Yeah. Uh, only the SES line will have the front rear optimized. Uh, Got it. With if someone difference. wanted to, could they individually buy a 45 front and a 65 rear, or is that frowned upon? Uh, they can't. It's not frowned upon. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it's currently available as Got an it. option. Got it. Um, okay. But know. I, I know a lot of people that will probably run. Or they have both sets mm -hmm. and they can yep, kind of mix as exactly. they please. Now the MOG, this is somewhat new to me. I see um, some integrated storage on the down tube I'm assuming yep. there. Yeah. And this is completely separate from the melee. Correct. So the melee is up here above. Okay. Uh, that's our production road frame. So it's a monocoque carbon mold. Uh, and then the melee is what we just released a few months ago. This one is definitely a game changer. We've had a lot of good feedback from riders during the prototyping stages and then even from people who are riding them today. We have them here uh, for demo and then we also have uh, a lot of the other companies like Ceramic Speed or Campy will have this build over there in their own booths kind of set up as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of integration in terms of uh, now gravel riding and uh, day packing, bike packing. Um, so with a lot of the mounts, the utilization, and also integration, uh, one of the main features on this is it's all—it's able to take a 700 by 50 millimeter tire. Wow. So you can go to a pretty wide tire if need That's be. monster truck status. Yeah. When we have our event, the Grodio, which is in Utah, uh, most of the guys are running about 42 to 45s. Um, 650B as well, or? No, no, yeah, the, the yeah, bottom the bracket and the way it's that. designed, yeah, we okay. don't have uh, any flip chips or anything like that that T would be able to Is that to T47? It is a T47 bottom bracket. Awesome. Um, you can set it up as a single speed, and it does have a removable front derailleur hanger, so yeah. if you do want to make it a double. Okay. And then our cargo uh, door actually pushes out. This lifts up. The nice. The frame set will actually come with two integrated packs that you can load up and fit on the top and the bottom of the down tube. So you're literally taking up as much real estate as you can. Nice. Um, Just make sure they pad it nicely, you don't get that rattling. Yeah, so it's not in this one, but we do have a uh, molded in Velcro strap that was gonna be holding your uh, brake hoses. Got it. Uh, as well, I mean, if you're running our integrated dropper or anything like that, and then uh, the little bags are neoprene. So once it's filled up, everything's Got it. I see that this has a round seat uh, tube post. Yep. Is that 27 for tube. cost savings or is that just because why not? We want it to have a little bit more compatibility. Got it. So we can do an offset RC post, zero offset. Uh, it'll also integrate the new uh, dropper post that a lot of people are riding as okay. well. Uh, and what's the MSRP on this frame? Uh, both of these frames are 5500 Oh, they both uh, reach out for the same price. Yep. Okay. And right above it is the, the Melee, which has been out for a while now. Yep. I've seen a few of these on the local road rides in um, Orange County. Yeah. Um, I've heard great things. And it looks to be, I don't want to say similar, but you know, they share some tricks. Yep. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I love the stems. You guys do a great job with the design. And yeah. Things. I mean, we, we always try to create something that's going to be comfortable, lightweight, fast. You know, yeah. everyone's always trying to get the balance between uh, all of those different features. Yeah. Um, and with this one, we've had really great feedback for people who are racing. We try to keep this as a, a lighter weight um, carbon build. Now, you said that you were the, what, what was your title with the custom? You're the. Yeah, so I, I oversee the custom road bike program. So okay. this frame is a production from overseas. Okay. What we do is a fully custom bike, custom geometry, and custom paint, and that bike is designed, created, built, and fully assembled at our facility in Ogden, Utah. And then it's fully delivered, assembled to the customer. And that one will dictate top tube angles, head tube oh, length, okay, all okay. of the geometry so is, is specifically off the shelf designed. versus this one's a boutique Correct. made to fit. This is specifically for the rider, got and it. this will come when the 52, 54, 56. Got it, got it. What were some of the biggest uh, issues to overcome in regards to designing a frame and like saying, okay, this is it, no more tweaks? Like, was there any like last minute thing like, oh, I want this to be dropped a little more, or I, I don't want to integrate a seat post, or are you involved um, in any of those kind of discussions? Not, not too much of the decisions, but I yeah, do like know when we are working on these bikes, um, 
a lot of the employees, our engineers, our riders, our, our uh, employees on the shop floor, they're riding these bikes and testing them and we're all trying to get as much feedback as possible. So we do a lot before we, we get it released. Awesome. And what's the warranty on these? I know the wheels are five years, correct? Uh, the wheels are limited lifetime. I would have oh, to check to see. Okay, I would change. have to check to see on the, okay. the update on them. Okay. Um, I think it's probably like for secondary owners or yeah, anything like that. Kind of you know, it's, okay. Yeah. Okay. I just um, remember when I bought mine, it was five years. Yeah, and we, we've had uh, quite a few people. I mean, our warranty is kind of getting. Uh, kind of a whole revitalization, got it, got but it. that's one of the main, uh, another benefit that got a lot it. of our, our customers like is they have really top of the line wheels, but sometimes issues do happen. And obviously we want to make sure we yeah. get that taken care of. Yeah. All right, well, this is mountain stuff, not really my territory. Obviously we have some nice uh, road bars that you've been out for a while. You got your SES road bar. Yeah, the that's gravel right. bar down there. Post. I run this stuff, I have a yeah. custom stand and steel. Oh yeah, and awesome. Paint and all that. I run that stand, but I've had that one before. Yeah. I used to go to Mads. Yeah, this is our Amazon classic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys are everywhere at NABS. Yeah. Uh, all right, so this one is the uh, mod, but it's built up with uh, all the MB goodies here. It looks like you got that new SRAM rear derailleur on there, huh? Yep. Apparently, you can, like, kick this if you want, right? Should, should we? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm joking. This one was actually uh, a mod that we sent out to Black Magic, and Black Magic painted uh, the frame and then sent it back with all their components, so we got That's it cool. built up for them. That's uh, really neat. Yeah, yeah. And this has a uh, mountain bike tires on it, or these are cyclocross tires, or gravel uh, tires? These are or some pretty chunkle, chunky oh, gravel yeah. tires. They're Ren Her uh, Renee Hers. Okay. Um, I think they're 700 by 42. Okay. Now, now you said dropper post earlier, and I didn't know if I heard you correctly, but I didn't want to like hijack the video here, but you literally meant dropper post. So this this is a dropper post made by Envy. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. so this is my first time seeing this. When was this launched? Oh, uh, I would probably say almost a year ago. Okay, so I've been out of it, but now that I'm here, please educate me on the MV dropper post. Yeah, so uh, 27 by 2, so okay. now you don't have to worry about needing a bike that's 31.6 or larger or anything like that. Okay. It's, uh, I believe it's about 40 millimeters of drop, and it's integrated. Uh, it is mechanical, and with Black Magic, they didn't send the lever with all of their group set. Okay. Um, but I can actually bring one of the bikes out so you can kind of see it. Okay. So this is the dropper, uh, our G-Series dropper that we have on the MOG right now. And the lever is actually integrated uh, and it goes right underneath your shifter. So it's all fully integrated <laughs> yep. through the headset and the top tube? Yep. Or no, it's through the down tube. Yeah, yeah so it's going uh, through the headset and then all the way down and channeling through here. And you'll be able to see you'll be able to see everything wrapped up. Is there gonna be a wireless one in the future? <laughs> uh that I'm not too sure. Alright. You can kinda see Are the... these any bottle cages? Yeah, so these are our new uh... How long have these been out? Oh not too long. I would say maybe a month or two. Those look nice. Awesome. Yeah, see this one has the uh, the SES 34s on there like we were talking about. <laughs> And then you can see the actuation for the dropper. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, let's wrap it up with that melee build over there. It has an yep. amazing paint job, so. Yeah. This one or this one? Uh, which one would you say is nicer? Actually, I'm a Shimada guy, so. Okay. <laughs> so this, this one. one is the Melee. Oh, this is our custom road. Oh, oh but, okay, so we, but we already went over the off-the-shelf Melee frame, yeah, so this yeah. would be a custom, so this would be different than that one. Correct. Okay. 
So, so oh, integrated ISP. Exactly. So okay. the custom road frame differs on how the frame is actually mocked up. Got it. Uh, there's 12 different carbon pieces that we all fully create in Utah. Uh, and then depending on the customer's geometry, we work through with them and essentially build it around their fit triangle. But they're able to choose the riding characteristics. So. Uh, how much extra comfort they want, the stability, if they're looking at racing crits with it, they can change the front center, the trail, fork offset, all of that stuff is completely adjustable. Uh, this is the one that actually comes with our integrated stem one piece bar combo. Oh nice. The other one's two piece. Correct. I mean it's good and bad. It's good because it's one piece right away, maybe it's a stronger fit if you want to say that, but that one you can adjust the you know the pitch. Yeah. yeah. But you know. This is probably pretty valid for the most part. Yeah. Average person's not going to have an issue. Yeah, and with this one, the customer can also uh, decide if they want to have 20 millimeters of spacers or if they want the whole oh. frame designed around it being slammed. Question. So on the SES stem that I have, it has a shin that goes inside there that adjusts the angle of it. Does this one have that too? No, this one is oh. fixed to the... Uh, how, so my question would be, how come does this not have the same insert that comes on the SES stem to adjust the angle of it? I think they originally designed this to have not such an aggressive okay. position as well. So Got it's it. kind of, I would say, more in the middle okay. of those options. All right, all right. Nice. Uh, and what's tire, what's tire clearance on this? Is it they're about the same, I'm assuming, in regards to obviously T47 bottom bracket tire clearance? So this one right here will still come with the BB386 Evo bottom bracket. Oh, why and is And we're that? using a thread together. Why is that? Um, it's originally the way the frame was designed. I and then, and the T47 came along, right? Yeah, I think the T47 in terms of like the manufacturing process and okay. getting those Got it. from overseas. Um, and then this one will still be able to clear up to a 35 millimeter tire oh nice for the front as well I yeah I have 31s on here right now and with the four five set they're inflated to 33.5 millimeters yeah I was gonna say they're looking a lot yeah, yeah. yeah. And with these bikes it's gonna be specific for a customer they choose the paint we have uh, uh, four paint templates 38 different colors and then the bike will be hand delivered to them fully assembled Awesome. And what's MSRP for this um, with a Dura Ace build as shown? Uh, Dura Ace build with the custom paint and four or five wheels. We're looking at about 15 7 I believe. Honestly, not bad when compared nope. to what's out there. Yeah. You can buy it in a chassis similar to the Melee and the Mod. You can purchase it in a rolling chassis. Yeah. So if you already have a group set or if you yeah. already have any wheels, yeah. You can essentially get the frame for uh, one piece of arch and the top. And this frame, just to reiterate, made in the U.S. Yep. Envy wheels, Envy yep. bar, stem combo. I mean, it's it's Envy, and it's made in the U.S. Yep. A bespoke design to fit uh, the customer's geometry and exactly what yes. they want to get out of the build, and still keeping it. Yeah. And what's what's the lead time? Assuming everything's going normal with the shop. It's uh, the if order. someone placed an order today, uh, what are we in? April. Uh, they're probably looking end of July. Okay, not bad. All right. Well, I really appreciate your time. Um, it was awesome to, to learn more. Uh, there's some stuff that I'd seen for the first time, which is awesome. So yeah, hope you have a great rest of the show. And once again, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Right, cheers.